Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast between Artosis and Calgo Moo here on Kulos Ravine. Calgo Moo spawning as the blue Terran player, meanwhile we have Artosis spawning as the red Zerg player here on Kulos Ravine. Artosis spawning on the bottom right hand corner, the, what I'll call the 4.5 position. Meanwhile, the blue Terran Calgo Moo spawning over here at the 7.5 position. I am looking for more Terran, or sorry, Protoss versus Zerg replays but I'm not really able to find them that easily. So my apologies to you guys who really like Terran versus Protoss, or sorry, Zerg versus Protoss, as that is probably one of the matchups that I will never play as I am a Terran player. Also, you will not see me casting too many Protoss mirrors or Zerg mirrors. I will try to find more of those replays for you guys out there, or if you have some like high quality ones or people who are particularly good, feel free to send them to me and I will go in fact cast them. Calgo Moon now setting up that front door position now, as we have this overlord spawning and we're just scouting off to that north hand side nothing too out of the ordinary yet now as a zerg player i want to see what artosis really tries to go for if he's going to try to go for the two main strategies i've seen as either an um, early hatchery or spawning pool to roaches and it does look like it is going to be spawning pool to roaches in tier one Meanwhile, Calgo Moon now getting down the second or getting down this barracks and finishing off this wall in. So th this is a really really narrow choke point and able to complete this wall in just with a single supply depot and a single barracks. So very nice positioning from Calgo Moo, or I'm just gonna call him Cow so I don't stumble over his name too often. Taking a look at the current production units, here we have a refinery, barracks, and SCV being trained, as well as an extractor, spawning pool, and overlord. Taking a look at the current units as well, on the top left-hand corner, just 14 SCVs compared to 13 drones. A little bit surprised by that, as the Zerg player generally is able to produce more units more quickly with those um, with that larva now another um, overlord now coming out so artos is sitting at 17 over 26 food and now getting this queen the queen that does in fact take two food so that has been a change since the original we have calgo moose coming in with this scouting scv and we'll figure out what he's going to be able to see in just a moment spawning pool already down and looking waiting for that queen artosis is not saving any larva at this point so it does not look like it's going to be any hard rush perhaps he's going to try to go ahead and go for a roach warren in just a, in just a moment let's see roach warren costing only 150 minerals and no gas and in fact it is going to be roaches so Cal most likely going to be trying to counter with marauders or needs to get marauders in, but in fact going for a, ba a barracks so that barracks is going to be pretty interesting I'm going to go ahead and switch this back to none on that unit overlay someone has noticed that my the game only really lags whenever I have that unit overlay on the top left hand corner he does in fact cancel that and now start building the barracks so yes he is now going for a barracks and going for a tech lab so wants to get those marauders as he sees that early roach warren and realizing that he's going to have to deal with a large number of roaches in just a second very very nice timing from artosis artosis going to get those four four larvae out as in just a second so there's going to be a very very large number of larvae so large now there's going to be four larvae those larvae are going to be quickly switched over to roaches most likely yeah and now four roaches quickly coming out and also spawning more uh, spawning more larvae as well going to need a, a single overlord though let's see and yeah overlord already up and now gonna get some more a large roach army in just a moment meanwhile back over here we have marauders being trained and now a bunker getting in position that bunker trying to be used in order to counteract those roaches which will be coming out in just a second a secondary tech lab from calgo Mu, and now a third barrack so it's going to be looking like triple racks with um perhaps triple marauders and um, triple marauders and uh, would be a very very large marauder army artosis now moving out with those roaches and we'll see if they're going to go straight for this and perhaps try to take down this supply depot not i do not believe that the that the even with this bunker and that extended range if he will be able to attack roaches that are sitting right here with that range of three so scv is now coming off the line in order to try to push this attack back and we'll see if those roaches are in fact going to just try to focus down that supply depot yes roaches trying to focus down that supply depot and a couple of marauders in position able to shoot down and push back this attack from artosis so artosis sitting with six roaches at this point and now going to perhaps just try to wait this out also getting a hatchery out as well taking a look at the current unit production there are 21 drones compared to 24 so the and let's take a look at the income as well so the income um, both players pretty much mining about the same same rate let's see taking a look at the resources right here yeah 
I'm pretty much sitting at 200 versus 100. So the income, pretty even. Right now, Co um, Calco was sitting at 850 compared to the 700 from Artosis. So a little bit of a difference, but that's mainly just brought in down by the mule. More roaches now coming back in, trying to come back into the space. And now Artosis getting this hatchery, most likely going to be building a queen over here as well. And that queen going to start injecting larva and being able to produce a large number of units in just a moment. Quick SCV getting taken down by those roaches and now already upgrading to layer so with that layer being with that layer currently being produced we'll see if he in fact goes for mutilus or go for hydralis and i would assume that mutilus is probably the better build to go for and taking a look and in fact he is going to be going for a hydralis then oh so going for a um, roach and hydra and roach combination very very strong strategy as well mutilus perhaps he doesn't uh, want to deal with that large number of marines so yeah triple tech lab and triple tech lab with a lot of roaches those roaches are not going to be a fair counter to those hydralis however as those hydralis are in fact light armored so the hydralis actually deal more damage to marauders than marauders can pen deal back even with that infantry armor we have a couple of roaches coming here on that north hand side injecting larva once again trying to spawn additional drones or spawn additional larvas perhaps for a larger army the hydralis then going to be completed right now and um, are already completed right now and now going to produce more hydralis in just a second as those um, larva are back on the ground and getting some hydralis already roaches trying to quickly trying to come in trying to deal some damage going to focus down should probably focus down that queen queen down to 87 64 50 hit points and now trying to focus down this hatchery he can get this hatchery that's going to be a very important takedown able to t if he's able to take that down one final kill able to take down those those really really low uh, that hatchery and now here comes that hydralis army so that hydralis army going to be able to just take down a lot of these units roaches and hydral is such a strong combination as those marauders trick trying to turn back around now getting stim so stim on those um, roaches trying to take or on those marauders trying to take down those roaches and now we have artosis left with a couple hydralis and two roaches as they continue to come around that corner right now and um, missile turret now being brought into position and a secondary command center and um, being built that command center perhaps going to be lifted up but there are in fact enough overlords to see into this base and really try to push this back right now. Those Hydralis and those Roaches are going to be taking down that Supply Depot very quickly as that Hydralis have such a high base damage. And down goes that Supply Depot. And now we have just a single bunker in this position right now trying to shoot down this Tech Lab. Poor Tech Lab. Marines trying to focus back against those Hydralis. Hydralis, one Hydralis taken down at the cost of a single Tech Lab. Do not see an engine. Oh, engineering bay is down, but no upgrades currently. And now trying to get some siege tanks perhaps. No, no, no units being produced as well, uh, produced at all. Taking a look at the unit overlay, just a large number of marines. And current look at the production right now. And there it is, my computer lagging. So yeah, I think this this overlay on the top hand. Oh, that, that's pause. Uh, production is D. So taking a look at this over here, yeah, the production, um, getting some siege tanks, getting that infantry upgrade as well as some of those siege tanks, and getting that command center. Command center now uh, finished. Going to get lifted off to that north hand side couple bunkers as well do not see any additional um, upgrades besides that single one and those marines are going to have a very very long time in trying to shoot down those destructible rocks as those destructible rocks account for two armor so two armor making those marines only dealing four damage a shot and poor marines not dealing too much damage in that position and currently orbital command has plenty of energy already has two mules called down as well so he just spammed those and, and now this hatchery once again back into position right now. Oh, those hydro, those hy roaches and hydralis taking down these destructible rocks and perhaps going to continue moving and try to make it much easier for these two armies to get closer to each other. No, in fact, just taking for that high ground. So wanting to take that high ground and then probably going to take the Zelnaga Tower in order to keep track of these armies right now. And, and at this point in the game, hold on, layer not upgrading any overlord information, but the hydralis are going to get that speed upgrade and that range upgrade. Now we have an evolution chamber finally joining in on this army, a very large number of hydralis right now, what 12 hydralis being able to produce so fast from those, um, from those, um, uh, dual hatcheries with those queens and overlords now moving out once again constantly injecting larva into those hatcheries those hatcheries and constantly being used poor overlord though getting quickly taken down now two siege tanks in position in, in order to just try to fend off any attack no combat shield upgrades 
I'm a little bit surprised by that. Oh wait, no, was that combat shield upgrade now being fin now being tech? Yeah, now being tacked, Also getting a starport as well. Stay tuned for part two and the conclusion of this replay between Kalgo Mu and Artosis here on Kulos Ravine.